Hey, it's Andrew Shackleton from Royal LePage Woolly Realty here. Today I want to talk to you about real estate commissions and how we get paid. On the surface, it seems like a pretty simple thing, but like all things, the devil is in the details. So I'll start with the, uh, the simple bit first. In real estate transactions, the seller pays the buying agent's commissions as well as the listing agent's commissions. Even though a buying agent's working for the buyer, the buyer doesn't pay them. The seller pays them. And it works like this. When you go to list a property, you'll have a conversation with the listing agent about how much total commission you're going to be charged. And say, for example, they say, well, I'm going to charge you 4.5%. Usually somewhere around half of that will go to the buying agent and the listing agent will keep the other half. So in a typical scenario in Kitchener-Waterloo, a buying agent will be paid out between 2 and 2.5% 2 and of the purchase price plus HST. The listing agent will keep between 1 and 3% of the purchase price plus HST as his commission. That's how that works. You'll also find here in Kitchener-Waterloo and throughout the province as well, brokerages that are offering 1%. Typically, if you're looking at a brokerage that's offering 1%, it's the, it's the listing agent that's taken 1%. They still end up having to pay the other agent, you know, 2% or something like that. Or there's some other kind of caveat or fine print in the agreement where you end up paying more than 1%. I'm a firm believer, no matter what you do, that as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. One other situation that comes up too with commissions is what's known as multiple representation. Multiple representation is where one agent is representing both the buyer and the seller. We call this in the industry double ending. And when you've got a double ending situation going on, the agent will oftentimes drop their commission in an attempt to make the buyer and seller happy with the transaction. So there you go. That's how commissions are set up between a client and the brokerage. But how do you get paid? How does the agent get paid? That's the next step and that's where things get start to get a little bit more complicated. So upon closing, the seller's lawyer ends up paying the listing brokerage all the commission that's, that's owed. The listing brokerage then ends up cutting a check to the buyer brokerage for whatever money is owed to them. That's you know, just the start of the process for how the agents themselves get paid. The next part is what's known as the commission split. And this is whatever arrangement a particular agent happens to have with their brokerage. And there's no real cut or dry way for how this is done. Some brokerages, for example, at the start of the year may charge an agent up to 35% of a transaction's commissions and then as the year goes by as that agent sells more properties that commission will slide the commission split will slide downward and near the end of the year for example the agent may be paying the brokerage only 5% of their commissions that's one way of doing it there's other brokerages that for example will only charge their agent 5% of their commission but they'll also charge them $1000 a month for desk fees for example the third example I can think of is, is the kind of virtual brokerages we see now where they don't have a brick and mortar building. These brokerages can oftentimes offer their agent a really, really low commission split because of that and you know, they attract a certain percentage of, of, of agents trying to get uh, you know, things done on the cheap. Nothing wrong with any of these different arrangements, they're just different ways of doing things. So that's how the brokerages end up paying their agents, but I can, you know, I can knock it up one level a more complication just to you know confuse the heck out of you. So if you get a referral from another agent, that agent typically gets paid 25% of whatever you bring in. And if you're on a team, that team might take 50% of your commission as you know their their charge for being on the team. Those are the last two things I can think of. And I'll I'll just lay out for you right now how this has panned out for me this year with a referral. I was at the start of this year, I sold a property for around $530,000. It was a referral for another agent, and as I mentioned, I was early in the year as far as my split. I ended up off that sale with $3,900 in my pocket. Fast forward to just about a month ago, it was my own deal. I paid my brokerage up way less in commission, it wasn't a referral, and I ended up with $9,200 in my pocket. In both cases, the seller was paying 2% to the buying brokerage and vastly different numbers in the actual agent's pocket at the end of the day. Anyways, that's how it works. It's quite confusing, even though on the surface how the commissions are paid by you know, the client to the brokerage seems really simple. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.